Now look at this question number 11. This is a trigonometric equation with a single function but it has a square in it. So you need to find the square root both sides. So you'll have tan theta is plus or minus square root of 9 is 3. So it takes square root both sides. This gives us two equations. First one is tan theta is positive root 3. Another one is tan theta is the negative root 3. So you have two trigonometric equations. Solve them separately within the given limit. That's all. So for the principal value, theta is tan inverse of 3. Here also theta is tan. You neglect the negative sign. So tan inverse of 3. They want the answer to one decimal place. So it's 71.6 degrees. 71.6 degrees. Draw the ASTC diagram. The limit is 0 to 360. Here also draw a ASTC diagram. The limit is 0 to 360. In this case, tan theta is positive. Tan theta will be positive here and here. So it's 180 plus theta and theta. Here tan theta will be negative here and here. So it's 360 minus theta, 180 minus theta. So you will have a total of four solutions. So your final solution theta is theta, that's the principal value, 180 plus principal value. So 71.6, 180 plus 71.6, 251.60. So here 180 minus principal value which is 180 minus theta is 108.4 degree comma 360 minus this which is 288.4 degree. That's all. This is how you solve it. So remember this, whenever you see a square, you take square root and consider both positive and negative values. Split them into two equations and solve them separately. Question 12 part A, they want you to rewrite this equation into this form. This has nothing to do with solving trigonometric equations. Here you need to use the trigonometric identities we learned. We learned one identity cos square x plus sin square x equals 1. We are going to use this identity to rewrite this equation into this form. When you compare these two equations, here you have sin square and cos square. Here you have only sin square. That means the cos square disappeared. Or you have to rewrite this cos square in terms of sin square and simplify. How do we do that? Use this identity. Your cos square x is 1 minus sin square x when you bring it to the other side. Replace cos by cos square by 1 minus sin square and simplify. You will have 4 sin square x minus 3 times 1 minus replace cos square by 1 minus sin square equals 2. Open the bracket. You will get 4 sin square x minus 3 plus sin square x equals 2. Bring the negative 3 here. 4 plus 1 sorry this is supposed to be positive 3 so 4 plus 3 is 7 sine square x equals 5 that's the answer for part a so if you go through past papers you will understand you are definitely going to get questions like this the part a has something to do with trigonometric identities you need to plug in the trigonometric identities and rearrange the equation into the required form and part b will be they want you to solve the original equation within the given limit 0 to 2 pi. The limit can be anything, but they want you to solve the original equation. It's very hard to solve this equation because we have more than one trigonometric functions. So we have to find a way to convert them into a single trigonometric function, which we have already done here in part A. So instead of this equation, I'm going to take this equation because these two are same. It's easy to solve this equation. 7 sine square x is 5 because it has only single one trigonometric function. So bring the five, 7 to the other side. Sine square x is 5 over 7. Take square root both sides. Sine x will be plus or minus square root of 5 over 7. 
that gives us two separate equations sin x is positive square root of 5 over 7 sin x is negative square root of 5 over 7 solve them separately within the given limit so first step we need to find the principal value principal value will be the same for both equations because here also we are going to use only the positive value when we find the principal principal value and they want the answer in one decimal place so the principal value is basically one radians now draw the ASTC diagram the limit given is 0 to 2 pi which covers all the four quadrants look at the first equation sin theta is positive sin theta is positive here and here so it's theta and pi minus theta so our solution is theta is the principal value and pi minus theta and here sin theta is negative sin theta will be negative here and here in this interval so it's pi plus theta 2 pi minus theta so you don't need to draw two ASTC diagram you can just find the solutions using a single diagram so it's pi plus 1 2 pi minus 1 simplify them that's the answer so your solutions are 1 3.1415 something pi so pi minus 1 will be 2.1 this will be 4.1 this will be 2 pi minus 1 is 5.3 radians you got four solutions now same like the previous question question number 12 13 a also the first part also something got to do with the trigonometric identities the trigonometric identity is cos square x plus sine square x equals 1 now they want you to rewrite this equation into this form so when you compare these two we don't have cos square here that tells us that we need to write cos square in terms of sine square using this identity our cos square x is 1 minus sine square x when you bring it to the other side so replace cos square by 1 minus sine square and simplify it's 2 sine square plus 5 times 1 minus sine square equals 1 open the bracket 2 sine square x plus 5 minus 5 sine square x equals 1 this will be minus 3 sine square x plus 5 is 1 put minus 3 sine square x here 5 here we'll get 3 sine square x equals 5 minus 1 4 we got the answer already you just need to use only one trigonometric identity in part b they want you to prove why this equation has no solution so let's try to find the solution first if you want to find the solution of this you need to rewrite this into a single trigonometric function which we have done already so take this equation sine square x is 4 over 3 take square root both sides sine x is plus or minus square root of 4 over 3 that gives us two equations when you find the when you try to find the principal value x is sine inverse of root of 4 over root 3 when we try to find this principal value we get math error but we cannot we cannot write we get math error that's why we have no solution we need to write the proper proper reason proper reason why this equation has no solution let me explain that if you look at the value of this square root of 4 over square root of 3 i want you to key in this into your calculator and check the value so the decimal value is here it will be plus or minus 1.1547 etc that's the value now the sign graph if you look at the sign graph carefully this is the sign graph the maximum value of sign graph is 1 and the minimum value is negative so if you take anything more than positive 1 or less than negative 1 there is no solution because for sine graph the value will be between minus 1 to 1 and that's the reason we get math error when we try to find the principal value 
So you cannot write some math error. You have to write the range of sine where sine graph is negative one to one, hence no solution. So therefore, this equation has no solution.